I'm still putting my hand cream on. I'm getting ready. We're going into war. Okay. Leo, 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 October 2018. <laughs> Smells like the 70s tarot for you, Leo. You are king and queen of eclipses. It's been a big one, hasn't it? 2018. I think you've got one more lunar eclipse left about the 21st of January or something like that, I think, in 2019. I haven't bought my moon diary for 2019. Without the moon diary, I am nothing. Leo, okay. I'm kind of feeling like yodeling for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. What does Leo, sun, moon and rising need to know? October 2018. I'm so glad you could join me, Leo, and well done for even making it <laughs> through 2018 so far. It's just been such a big one, hasn't it? For you and for Aquarius and for Cancerians as well, actually. It's been humongous. Humongous. Oh, you've got Mr. Pawn Tash, though. I love that card. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. Page of Pentacles. It's not really a card you like to see, actually, Leo, Page of Pentacles. It is someone who is reliable and patient and knows the right time for things sowing the seeds at the right time, pulling them up at the right time, not trying to, you know, sow, oh dear, sow seeds and then think to yourself, I want to eat it now, even though it's really, really small. I'm just going to pretend it's big and delicious and actually it's just a little thing. No, you need to be patient. Patience, my dear Leo. I think what's probably happened, Leo, is that 2018 has stirred up for you like a hornet's nest of desires and wumph and got to get on with it type feelings and you know you often think astrologically when you've been through the mill like you have that there's a pot of gold straight away at the end of that rainbow I reckon Leo the pot of gold is after your final eclipse in 2019 in January and I think there's a bit more drama to play out just yet. Death in the reverse. The Scorpio card. Keeps asking me to take that. Oof. Nine of cups in the reverse. Do you know what I'm getting for you, Leo? And it's, I always want to call him C.S. Lewis, but it's not. What did he say? Was it Lewis Carroll? I don't know. It was a famous writer and he said about writing, give them what they want, but not how they want it. You get what you want, Leo, but not how you want it. Now, Leo, you lion hearts, OK, you know, you can be a bit uh, forceful sometimes. Sometimes that fire and forcefulness, you lay it on the universe and you're like, I've done this and I've done that and I've been vulnerable and I have taken the hits and I've done all of those things. Give me the pot of gold. Yeah, baby. Okay, and then sometimes it's a bit of a steaming turd, but, 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 but. It's a gradual process. It's not going to be immediate. It's not going to be bells and whistles. It's not going to be instant gratification even though god yeah you do deserve it yes it's been a monster year yes you've been brave and open as leos often are but at the same time you get the star we love the star it's the aquarius card your opposite sign all of the eclipses in aquarius have been affecting you as well of course when you're not eclipsing in your own sign you're experiencing eclipses in your opposite sign don't know if you can hear that. Someone's got some, some ice going on outside. <laughs> got their tunes pumping. Quite like 
that. That's quite you, Leo. So you have the star. Manifestation and wishes coming true. But at the same time, do you know what? When we come into Aquarius, that's when that eclipse is, isn't it? I think it is the 21st of January. And that is when, that's right at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I'm doing my astrological thoughts. In other words, I think you get your pot of gold in January 2019. And until then, you are leaning on your hoe a little bit. Here's Paul Natasha Lash. We love him. It's really good tunes in that car. <laughs> A little Leo disco going on. Yeah, I really want to stare out the window and see who it is. Sometimes you do that, it's a really bad car, isn't it? A bad car, like I used to have when I was quite a long time ago. Um, I used to have a stereo that was worth about 10 times as much as the car. Do you know what I mean? Your car was crap, but your stereo was banging. Those days are gone, my friend. Okay, in the middle of the reading, the Hierophant. Major Arcana. Hierophant, traditionally marriage, commitment, playing by the rules, um, hierarchy, institution, and also being by the book and doing what you've learned and being good and doing what you're told. I don't, I don't think you're going to feel like that, Leo. I think you're going to feel somewhat rebellious. You're going to test boundaries you're going to test boundaries. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is your side hustle. It can be two people, two jobs, two income streams. It can be your day job. And then if you've got like, you know, vlogging or blogging or writing or waitressing or mechanics or whatever it is on the side it's that juggle jupiter and capricorn the juggle of two different things and when it's in reverse that's going to be a lot of plates spinning okay it's going to be a lot of plates spinning for the rest of the year i think the advice for october is don't bury yourself in busyness don't hide behind busyness if that's in a romantic sense don't be too busy to date, don't be too busy to be available for somebody, but also don't be too busy to feel what's really going on. Don't hide behind busyness. Seven of Pentacles, the Pawn Tash card, is a card of reckoning. You're still taking stock from what's been going on this year. That's a process with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. That is a protest. Protest. Ooh, that is a process. I said protest of harvest, harvest, harvest. Queen of Swords. That's not you. Who is that? I want to do a clarifier. I want to do a clarifier from here though, which isn't what I normally do. You've got the Queen of Swords in your reading. You're the Queen of Wands. Who is she? She's thorny. Even her hat is thorny. See? She's got roses around, which are lovely, but they're covered in thorns. She's cold and she's uh, difficult and calculating. If it's work, it can be a boss that is very nitpicky, micromanagey. If it's about love, it can be somebody's ex or even not so ex. Ooh, yes. For the Queen of Swords, I get the Emperor, the Father card. Also represents Aries, the Father of the Tarot. Issues to do with fatherhood, to do with your own father as well, Leo. Yeah, there's going to be some harsh truths in October. Again, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. You've got Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords. That's like a family. You may invo be involved with someone. 
who is involved with someone with a family. And it's a bit complicated, to be honest. She is in the upright, though. She's not in the reverse. So we do thank our lucky stars for that. Wow, Leo. <laughs> Up here, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is long-term love, Ace of Cups. It's an ace. I always think of it as more of an overview card of a year. Clarified by the Two of Cups, Venus in Cancer. <laughs> okay, relationships are still like spinning plates, okay? There is going to be love, definitely, down here. Page of Cups, romantic love offer. That's usually someone younger than you. Water sign, possibly. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Two of Cups, Venus in Cancer. But balanced by the ace in reverse, this is a very topsy-turvy reading. Again, I think it's only because in October, Leo, you are still on the roller coaster a little bit. It's just a bit of a better ride than it was before. You know, I think it's more of a deluxe roller coaster and you've got some refreshments and a proper like lock-in, like harness thing, you know. Whereas up until, you know, July and August, I think you're on that one, I never go on rides, where they just drop you in the dark, you know, where they just go, like that. That was, that was, it was July and August. Now it's more kind of scenic, you know, you're kind of doing a twisty thing and it, it's, it's exciting, it's drama. Leo likes drama. But at the same time, there's a few characters here to watch out for. Knight of Cups in reverse. This is a more mature love offer than the Page of Cups. And that's in reverse along with the Hierophant. Again, with work as well, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse, Leo, you just might find yourself kicking against it, rebelling against these characters and these people. As you take stock of your life, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do it like an accountant. I don't really see it like that, but I do see it as a time of great growth. And Leo's a brave. And also in love as well, that's growth. Ace of Cups in reverse, but then the Two of Cups in the upright. It's a mixed bag, but you're kind of making the best of it. And there will be love offers, and I'm talking multiple. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups in reverse, often, Leo, what I find that is, is an offer you don't want. Either it's not good enough, it's a crap offer, or you reject it, okay? So that's someone you don't want. That may be to do with a young person or a child, because it comes up with the Knight of Swords, the Emperor and the Queen of Swords, and that's a whole riggedy raggle of people and their children and then this one love brings up anything unlike itself to be healed it's nice actually that it's effort venus in cancer two of cups yay itchy nose yeah some of you that are single may be fearing i love this card drought where she's looking around there's just it's almost a gif this card isn't it it should be there if it was a gif it would be woman looking at a, a dry skeleton going like this single af that's the single af card okay you're not going to be single af so don't worry about it. We have enough cup cards to sustain love, Leo. Giving. This is reciprocity, the healing card of giving. The two of cups is giving. It's going to take a lot of give for a relationship, which quite frankly has its upsets. And then you get falling in love. That's nice and possible. 
very, very possible. There's lots going on, Leo. I'm quite excited. <laughs> Are you quite excited? Leave me a comment. Let me know, okay? Let me know how this resonates. Do as well. Look for your moon and your rising sign. You get mending. Mending is an interesting card. Often it points to female relatives like sisters, uh, mothers, aunties, friends, female friends. It's quite a female thing. They're kind of making bunting together. For me, it's building bridges. It is mending, but mending in the most feminine way. It feels like you are, after the kind of blitz and after the storm of the eclipses, you are re-establishing threads of intimacy and relationships with people. Yes. You get retreat. Spend some time in October and November quiet time in relationships, like quiet time together in that two of cups sense, quiet time in terms of reflection about relationships with parents and with siblings, okay? But also if you are single, you know, you're not going to be picking over dry bones, okay? <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad idea to get out there got that one you got the full I don't think this happens till 2019 that's just me yeah I don't know why I want to take those two but I do high priestess in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse there's something that is not working for you Leo and I think it's to do with your job sun in Virgo eight of pentacles being willing to turn up to the same old place do the same old thing knock out the same old pentacles that's not what you want in your heart of hearts, High Priestess. There is something else which is calling. I feel that may show itself more November, December and then come into its own again in January. Oh, Leo. Okay, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, Leo. And do check out my daily readings, my pick a card readings. And if you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. Okay, see you soon. Namaste.